Hey guys and welcome to another video. Uh, this video will be a bit different so this is actually a bit of a soft skill video so not so normally I do some tutorials or I'll do some designing of a board or some electronics but today I've decided to make a video about soft skills that I've learned through working as an engineer um, things I'm still working on and aspects that I think is very important for you as a as a person to work in a company in a with a team so here is seven seven points <laughs> seven points that i think is important for any engineer so the first point to work on as a engineer or a person that's working in the real world is communication so communication is probably one of the things that engineers don't always that good at as you can see how i speak um, but it's such an important skill to have uh, when you start working in a company um, it doesn't help you are extremely clever but you can't get your point across and also does not help to try to explain stuff in such a high level that no one understands. So you need to find that balance of how do I communicate the idea that I have in my head. It might be brilliant, but if I cannot communicate it to another person that needs to make a decision, needs to help me to do something, it is not that useful. So I would always say, don't try to sound clever. Rather try to get your point across that everyone will understand. Doesn't matter what level they are. So try to see what environment you're in um, so you can speak according to your audience. If you look at people like Elon Musk, uh, I'm a big fan of Elon, um, that man is so clever, but when he speaks, he always takes time to think about how he can explain stuff. So we'll take that four second pause and it seems so weird, but he's thinking how can he say it so that everyone here can understand and he can get his point across and just motivate the people. So maybe take a course in Toastmasters or find a way to improve your communication. It's something I'm trying to work on as well. It's the reason why I also started this channel. So me speaking like this, it's a good practice because as an engineer, we are so focused on the computer, so focused on programming, mechanical, electronics. Um, we are so focused on the technical details and we want to seem so clever sometimes that we don't have the skill to communicate ideas. And that is such an important aspect to have as a person, I think. Communication is key. Number two, so this one I think is probably one of the most important parts um, in life. Don't do things for recognition or praise. So there's many times where you'll be in a project and you are thinking, if I do something like this, my manager, my boss will be so happy with me and he will praise me and I'll feel good about myself. That is a very dangerous path to go by. That means your success, your good feeling, will always just be there when someone praises you. So you can give you 100% in a project, you can give you 100% in a certain thing that you're busy with, but if your boss is having a bad day, uh, he had some bad coffee or something, and he thinks you did a bad job, your mood will straight away go down. So I always say, try to give you 100% on the, on the anything you're busy with at the moment, and be proud of your effort, not the result. Um, that is very important just to keep, be happy. This will also give you a strong base when you know you tried your best for a certain project, for a certain task, and your boss or manager or team lead comes to you and say, yeah, we're not too happy about this. And then you can have an open mind and say, okay, what did I do wrong? Where can I improve? Uh, then you're not taken back saying, ah, oh, this is horrible. I did such a bad job. Uh, and you get down the dumps a bit. Uh, more, you can take it as constructive criticism and then look where do I need to improve, um, where I need to improve and whatever I did, because I know I gave 100%, but sometimes it's not good enough, right? So if um, South Africa plays soccer against Spain, they can try their best, they're not gonna win. Sometimes your best is not good enough and you need to improve, guys. So number two, very important for me is never do things to get praise or recognition, do it because you are you want to give 100 percent and you need to be proud of your efforts not your results number three is another fun one um so what i see a lot so i've worked in south africa i've worked in netherlands is people are very quick to find problems and anyone can find problems but not a lot of people will be solution mindset so a lot of people will make a list of all the problems but when they make that list they never think about solutions so I want to challenge you guys to, whenever you face a problem, straight away think of a solution. Um, when you're working, wherever you work, and you make a mistake, 
um, it's going to happen. I've made many mistakes. I've crashed robots. I've populated the wrong boards with wrong components um, for customers that need to be delivered the same day. What I want to challenge you is when you make a mistake, of course, own up. Um, there's nothing bad about it. Everyone makes a mistake. But when you go to your manager or boss, come with a solution with the problem. That will change, the, that will change your whole life. Um, I've experienced some good times with this as well. So if you have a problem, okay, that's fine. It's going to happen. But then when you go to whoever you need to report to, have a list of solutions that you thought about. It might not be picked um, because they have more experience. They might know better. But at least they'll see that, okay, you made a mistake, but straight away you wanted to find a solution. So I challenge you guys to be solution-based. Um, don't always think about problems. Um, there will be enough problems. But what makes engineers different or just anyone actually in the world is can you find solutions to problems? And if you have a problem, how do you solve it? So wherever you're in the world, um, wherever you look around your house, um, think solution, think solution, think solution. Number four is be okay if your solution, your suggestion or your opinion does not get taken um, further or not accepted. Um, so when you work in a company, there's more than you. You are part of the team. And sometimes you will get an opinion about something and you're quite strong about that opinion. But it's not to say you will make the choice. You don't make the final decision. And you need to become okay with them not taking your opinion or suggestion and follow through. I've experienced many times where people get quite sensitive when their opinion is heard but not accepted, should I say. Um, that will happen, but that should not discourage you to keep trying to give your point of view, your ideas. Um, but remember, sometimes decisions are made, <laughs> sometimes not logical. Uh, you need to detach that, uh, detach, detach that emotion from it. Um, when you work in a bigger team, it's not all about you, it's about the team. So give your opinions, give your ideas, um, play with that muscle, but be okay when whoever's in charge say, no, I feel it's better like this, then respect that, respect the position, I guess. And they've got more responsibility, they've got a bigger <laughs> rope around their neck, I guess. Um, they'll take a bigger fall, whatever you're gonna say. Um, so just be okay with it, um, but don't ever get discouraged to stop giving your opinion and your ideas. Number five. So like I said, you're going to work in a team. And in my opinion, this is my opinion, but the team always comes, bef comes before the individual. Um, because that's what a company is, right? You've got your big team that's working towards a certain goal. So in a team, it's possible that there will be people in your team that you don't like or get along with. You need to learn the skills to work with people you don't like. Um, this is, this is just one of those things. Um, I always encourage younger people or anyone actually from a young age to play sport. So or any team event in school, because that's where you learn to, to work with people for a goal. Like you want to win this game, you want to win this match, uh, cricket, whatever. You want to take the catch, even if the bowler, you don't like the bowlers in personal, personal level, you will still make that catch. So yeah, it's a difficult one, but try to practice it, um, try to just detach again, detach. Uh, don't let your personal feelings towards a person affect the team, because you rely, you might have seven people in the, in the team that you do like, now you being weird to one person might affect the whole team, and you don't want that. So learn to, learn to be professional, I guess, um, and yeah, that's just how it is, guys. It's impossible to like everyone in the world. Uh, you can be respectful, of course, don't be rude and stuff, but I think that's a skill that is needed in this world. So this is also a big one for me um, because with Instagram, I'm getting a lot of questions and on YouTube as well about helping you guys. So <laughs> number six is learn how to ask for help um, in any environment. So what I mean by that is, so you can't just go to someone and say, JP, I need help to build a boat. Um, okay, you have to realize that when you're asking someone for help, you are using their time. And time is precious, guys. Um, I'm quite big about that. So if you have meetings and stuff, be on time, be early, have respect for each other's times. Um, that, that's for me, it's very important. So you have to realize when someone's helping you, that they're taking some of their own time and investing it to you. So you want to create an environment where it's easy for them to help you. 
So what I mean by that is, is okay, JP, I want help with the boat. What have I tried? I've researched this, I tried these components, I thought about this. So make a list of what you've already tried. And then also what you're struggling with. Why can't you build a boat? What is your blocking issues? What exactly do you need help with? So two things will happen in this scenario. Either you make it more clear for the person helping you what the real problem is. Also, when you start explaining stuff to people, you realize, okay, I could have thought about this and this and this, and they'll sit there for five minutes, but you've actually solved your own problem. Um, so Bob, one of my friends, actually calls it a rubber, rubber duck effect. So you have a rubber duck on a table, and you just speak to it. And sometimes you'll notice that you have a whiteboard, you'll start asking questions and stuff, and something in your mind just clicks, and you actually solved your own problem. So that's why two things can happen when you really think about something before you ask for help. Guys, always ask for help. Um, it's nothing to be ashamed about, but just realize um, the person you're asking help from, you're taking their time, time is precious, and also make it easy for them to help you. Um, it just also shows that you've actually thought about it and it's not just, yeah, I want you to do it for me. It's I'm actually really struggling and I've tried all this stuff and I'm, just, I'm stuck. Um, please help me and I'm thinking about this and this might work and then you can bounce off ideas and that's where magic happens. So learn how to ask for help. So number seven, um, this is just a, a life one. It doesn't have to be engineer or anything is try to be grateful. Um, <laughs> I know it's, it's easy for me to say sitting here in the Netherlands, uh, I can go walk on the streets, things like that. Um, but wherever you are in the world, um, whatever situation you are, if you're an engineer as well, uh, be grateful that you could study engineering. Be grateful that you have a job where you, where you can get shouted at. Um, I understand, guys, everyone's different lives and different levels, and we're all going through different beep. I think I can't say shit on YouTube, can I? Oh, I just did. Um, yeah, so we all go through different shit. Um, I'll beep it out, maybe. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, so wherever you are, um, just think where you are and try to find things to be grateful for that will help you a lot with your just your whole mood and your whole uh, feeling um, I'm speaking about engineers now so if you're an engineer and you complain a lot I get very upset uh, because you had the privilege to study that's something to be very grateful for um, you educated something very grateful for you have a stable type of job uh, most engineers have stable jobs be grateful for that um, so when you have a bad day at work, really think about it. Is it really that bad? Um, I go through the same guys when I hate paperwork. So when I do a lot of paperwork, I, I do get upset and grumpy. And But then I just have to realize again how lucky I am actually. Um, so guys, yeah, so wherever you're in the world, doesn't have to be engineering or whatever, try to find that, that things that you can be grateful for. And I'm sure you can find something. doesn't matter the situation you're in. I do understand we're all in different situations, guys. So I'm not going to compare situations, um, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Try to find that 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 point that that something small doesn't matter how small it is to be grateful for. And if you're an engineer, you've got lots to be grateful for. So that's it, guys. Um, let me know what you think about this type of video. Um, of course, this is my opinion. Um, let me know what you guys think. What's your opinion about these type of topics? If there's any managers or bosses watching this let us know in the comments what do you think about what i think <laughs> uh, engineer soft skills should be as well with the hard skills of course um, but yeah let me know if i should make more videos like this i actually enjoy chatting like this uh, it makes you think a bit differently um, but again guys this is my opinion i don't say it's right or wrong this is just how i feel about the situations um, this is how i try to be but of course i've got my shortcomings as well uh, communication I'm pretty bad at. I can be stubborn as well <laughs> and that's another thing I'm trying to work on. Uh, communication stubborn. Uh, one thing I'm very good at is um, the recognition. I don't care too much about what other people think uh, about me and stuff. It's a yeah, plus and minus I guess but I honestly just do things that I'll try my best and if someone likes it or not yeah, it's up to them so yeah guys have a fantastic day i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like subscribe thumbs up that's the same as like um yeah leave me comments below what other what other soft skills you think um the world needs uh, yeah i'm an engineer so i can only speak about the engineering environment but if you're in a different field let me know do you think these skills can relate to those type of industries or not or 
what other skills do you think we should have? Soft skills, um, uh, because yeah, hard skills is pretty easy to learn, I guess, if you just put in hours. Where soft skills is a bit of a, a self, self, self analyze, analysis. <laughs> Guys, have a fantastic night. Uh, have a good weekend, Easter weekend, wherever you are in the world. Until next time, next one will be a technical video. Uh, cheers guys, bye.